Over at Texas Tech Soccer, head coach Tom Stone enters his seventh season at the helm of the Red Raider program. He has built what is one of the most consistent and best programs in the country. Our own Lauren Bogle sat down with the head coach and some of his players to discuss what makes his program so successful. In Lubbock, tradition dictates that Texas Tech football is king. But in the spring of 2007, that unbendable fate began to change. When athletic director Gerald Myers put his faith in a women's soccer coach with little on his resume, but a lot on his mind. Tom Stone stepped into the arena of Texas Tech women's soccer, ready to start a tradition of his own, winning. They said, okay, based on your resume, you don't have much college experience. I was an assistant coach at Clemson for one season, but you're the guy we're looking for. And so they really went out there in terms of kind of off the beaten path to say, despite your lack of college coaching, we feel like you've got all the tools to start our program over. And I really owe them a lot because a lot of ADs just wouldn't be able to get past the fact that I hadn't spent a lot of time coaching in college. A successful coach and humble person, Stone never takes anything for granted. Not a big golfer, love to hunt. My wife fortunately allows me to go hunting with my dad a couple times a year and take my son. But uh, you know, at this stage of the game, it's Texas Tech and it's the family and that's it. Stone has done more than just win. He has changed the lives of many of his athletes. And he really believes in me and he knows, he kept telling me like he knows the impact I'm gonna make and he really just, uh, he just was every day like motivating me and just kept pushing me to keep going. And it was really just like the things that would, he would say to me and just like phone calls or texts saying like, you know, everyone's looking up to you, you need to, just stuff like that. And it really just kept me pushing. He's just probably, one of the most inspiring and best coaches I've ever had. And there's parts of it that are from his experience from coaching, but just that he's a good person is really what makes him such a good coach. And, um, you know, he develops personal relationships with his players, um, you know, on and off the field. So he knows you on the field, and I know what to expect from him on the field, and I know what to expect from him off the field. So um, just that communication and knowing each other on and off the field is really important for us. The players just have to be more than an athlete, I think, to coaches if they want to bond with their players. They've got to be, uh, they don't have to be all into their business, but they have to be there for them when they need advice, when they need guidance, when they just want to check in and, and see how the family is or there's something going on in their life that you've been privy to and you can either help them with or just be supportive of. I think you have to be involved at some level beyond just the coach telling her how to run or how hard to move. Now with me, because I'm pretty high octane and have a pretty high volume, I have to occasionally pull the team in and tell them how much I care about them because I start to wonder if they're starting to wonder if it's been a tough week or something. But as long as you continue to build those relationships with the individual players, then that relationship can withstand a bad game, a tough game, or a bad decision on the part of the coaches. You know, on more than one occasion, I've gone to a player and just said, look, you know, I apologize. What, uh, what I saw happening as I watched it on film wasn't happening. And so, you know, you were in the right and, and uh, you know, I'm sorry I jumped on you for that. He knows how to and when to coach. And that goes back to him making personal relationships with our players. He knows how yelling at someone's gonna affect them. And if it's somebody that doesn't strive off of being yelled at, then he's not gonna yell at them. But there are times where he knows he has to be hard on us and he's gonna be hard on us and that's what makes us better. But you know, behind the scenes, he's just somebody that likes to have fun with us and we are definitely a team that likes to have fun. So he's the perfect coach for us. Suffering a season-ending knee injury last year, Connor Williams will have one more chance to take the field with her teammates and a coach who has touched her heart. He gave me an opportunity that no one else would have given me. And um, just for him to believe in me when no one else would, it's just, there's nothing else to say but thank you. And I just hope that I made him proud. <laughs> That's all the time we have this evening. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time on Inside Texas Tech.